Hey guys, John here, and welcome back to Synthwave Week. Now, today's patch is going to be some of these chords, these chorusy chords that we all know and love. So this one's called Vintage Butter, and let's hop into Bitwig and let's start recreating this. So you know those chords that kind of just start off, they're kind of milky and buttery? You can use it as chords, but also like I was kind of in a debate because I was like, you can use this as a pad, but you can also use this as a lead. Something like that, right? Anyway, depends on how you want to use it. You can use it. It's buttery, it's vintagey, it's creamy, and yeah, I'm going to stop using adjectives and let's start getting into this. Okay, so let's move this guy a little bit over to the side. Now, this guy is a fresh copy of Pigments. Let's go ahead and select this so we're listening to the right one. Okay, so we're going to start off with an analog engine here. So let's go to analog, and then here we're using two saw waves for our oscillator. So let's bring both of these in the mix here. Now the second oscillator is gonna be down by one octave, so we can bring this down here like that. And then bring our course up one octave. So we have something kind of like that. So now our drift here is going to be by default 0 0.010, and then I am increasing that to 0 0.019. Now for the second oscillator here, we're going a little bit to the right at 0 0.056 for the fine tuning. There we go here. Now you might see here that there's a slight adjustment here on this third oscillator, which I did try to use the third one, but I didn't feel like it actually fit. It felt like it added or took away a little bit too much as far as like phase cancellation and stuff goes. So I kind of took it out of the mix and just left these two. So if you're wondering why that's there, there, now you know. So next up, we kind of need a smooth filter. And for this one, the Jupiter 8 seemed pretty appropriate. So let's scroll over here to the Jupiter 8. And then our cutoff is going to be at 448. So I'm kind of low like this, 448, right about there. And we're going to be modulating this not only with the macro one, but also with the envelope at 0.25, which is default. So we can literally just drag and drop when we have the correct depth right here. But let's take a look at this envelope. So envelope two. So this guy, and this is kind of a trick I like to do a lot of times when I make some of these types of patches, is that if we look at the amp envelope here, the, the attack's one millisecond, which is fine. That's, decay is going to be 1.5, so let's go ahead and do that. Decay 1.15, that's fine. Sustain down to maybe 0.78 or so. And then the release, 1.49. So we have something like that. So now we're using the second envelope to modulate the cutoff. Now, the cool part about this is that we can actually increase the attack of the second envelope. So the amp opens up first, and then the second envelope is still kind of opening up, giving us this not exact same timing envelope, which gives a pretty cool sound. So this attack is going to be 86. Which I'm sure we're all familiar with that sound, and that's kind of how it is made. Now, this linear curve kind of bothered me, so I did the attack curve at negative 1.44. Something like that here, and then our decay is going to be 5.42. And then no sustain, and then our release is going to be 3.3 seconds. Okay, so we have that done. So now we can drag and drop the macro one on our cutoff here and relabel this as cutoff. Easy controls. And then if we look at the amount here, this is gonna be 0.25, which is default. So you really don't have to change that depth. Now on the res, uh, almost that resolution, on the resonance, this is gonna be 0.44. So you do need to add a little bit of something here. So 0.44, something like that here. And then relabel this as resonance or just res. <laughs> Kind of getting there we're, we're kind of carving out that sound here 
So next we're gonna go into another filter, the multi-mode to give a little bit of a high pass. So output of the first filter, the Jupiter 8 goes into this multi-mode, but we're gonna be changing this to a high pass 12. And then the cutoff is gonna be at 66.2. And no resonance, we're kind of just leaving that filter right over there. All right, so we basically have this part done in that sense. Now, if you look at this LFO, we're thinking, okay, what's this one doing? This is a fine tuning. What? We're doing the mod wheel again? Perfect. Let's do that then. So if you look at our LFO, we can see that this first one is on this fine. So the depth exactly is going to be 0.25. So we can literally just drag and drop this to the fine. But we do need to do some edits to this guy. So if you look at our LFO, this one on this patch is gonna be a sine wave, which is fine. Now this guy's rate is gonna be 6.09. So let's bring this up here. We kind of have that sound. Now I'm sure we're all familiar. We could change this to free running. Now, if we select this LFO here, we can go to side chain. Let's select our mod wheel and bring this all the way up to one. So now if our mod wheel is down, We don't have any uh, modulation going or vibrato if we put it up all the way. Now this is a lot of fun to play dynamically if you're kind of just wanting to stress a little bit more vibrato on like the end of a phrase. It's kind of fun to do stuff like that. Okay, so we have this pretty much done here so that we can kind of leave the the analog engine for now in case we want to come back to it and then we look at the utility engine what's happening here we have a sub saw down over here so kind of similar to what we did before utility engine let's turn on the oscillator change this to a saw wave and then here it's going to be automatically down this course here now we're not doing anything on the fine except doing a little bit of deviation on the picture slightly something kind of like that and then for the output we're actually going to stay to the filter usually we do direct out here but this in this case, I feel like going to the filter kind of made it a little bit more correct, I suppose. So this is also going to be on a macro at 0.36. So let's bring this all the way down. Macro 3, drag and drop. And this is 0.36, something like that. And then double click, label this as sub saw. So it's not an, an insane amount of a sub saw, but it's just a little something. So feel free to um, put how much of that in the mix that you want. Okay, so we have this here, and now we can actually go over to the effects and see what's happening here. So the first one is going to be an EQ, as usual, right? So we have an EQ. And this guy, we're kind of just cutting down quite a lot of this mud here. If we look, this is going to be at 158 hertz. So we select our first band, 150. 58, something around here. And then we're taking out about seven, so it's quite a lot. So we're taking this stuff out. Yeah, so it's kind of gross. So let's take out about somewhere here. And depending on the mix that you have going on, you can kind of reduce this or, or take away a little bit more. It's really context dependent, but for the most part, I didn't really like that sound. So that's why we brought that out. And then for the uh, third band, we're going to be targeting 1.6K about. So third band, 1.6K-ish. And then we're actually pushing this at about 2.74. And the next up, we have a chorus. So let's go ahead and add this guy. So select the chorus. Ah, chorus just makes everything better. So this one's actually pretty high up. So this is 0.58. love that sound there. So our rate's going to be the same delay, 13.1. I believe that's the same as well. Yep. But we are going to be changing the depth, I believe, a little bit. 3.01, just a tiny bit like that. Something here we go. Something kind of like that there. So that's pretty cool. So next up, we have some distortion here. So let's go ahead and select our distortion. Now, this guy is going to be on tape. So what we can do is... 
scroll over here to tape. Now, this is a very small amount. If we look here at the macro, this is 0.12. So we can bring this down to 12%. And then the drive is gonna be at about 12.2 as well. So something kind of like that. <laughs> All right, so we're getting closer and closer. And then the last two are gonna be delay and reverb because it's kind of the classic thing, right? So our delay is going to be on the on a quarter note. So let's go add a delay over here. Quarter note's gonna be default, but we do wanna do some of this EQ, the high pass and the, uh, the low pass. <laughs> sounds pretty good and then our dry wet 0.31 so select here and go a little bit more so 31 percent something like that okay we're kind of getting there so the last one that we're gonna we're gonna add here is going to be reverb now, this one here, we have an amount of 0.22, so we're spring this to 22%. And then if we look here, our pre-delay is pretty much all gonna be default for most of this stuff here. We can bring down the low pass just a little bit more. And kind of what I like stressing as well, if you have a certain specific reverb that you like, you don't necessarily have to use this built-in one inside of pigments. You can route this to your own reverb and sometimes you're gonna get a little bit better results. So if we disable this for now, and then we basically ran it to our own Valhalla Vintage Verb. It's a lot of reverb, but I think you get the point there. <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to this guy here and turn this reverb back on. So this is pretty much exactly how this patch is done. It's not too crazy, but it's just kind of going through the motions of these things. Now, the last thing that we do need to add until this is complete is um, our macro down here, macro four. So with this guy, we're gonna be using it on the chorus and we can use it as well on the distortion in this case. So there are, our chorus is gonna be 58. So bring this down and bring this up to 0.58, something right around there and then our distortion is 12 so bring this down to 0.12 and then the last two ones down over here is going to be delay and reverb so we can drag and drop this guy and drag and drop this guy as well delay is 32 so 0.32 and then our reverb is going to be 22 so that means 0.22 to us <laughs> okay and then we're going to go fx and then bring this all the way up Yeah, so with that, you can use it as a chord or as a pad. You can play uh, leads with it. It really depends on kind of how you want to play this patch. But yeah, it works for a lot of stuff, Synthwave, and uh, have fun with it. If you don't want to recreate this in real time, you, there's always a link in the video description below that you can download and you can use and have fun and make some cool tracks with it. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.